plaza this this plaza uh, is where the revolutionaries gathered to raise the Philippine flag on December 25 1898 1898 yeah. but you know what it doesn't mention is that this plaza is also plaza the plaza where the Spanish flag was last flown um, in the Philippines after the Spanish fled Manila because the Spanish fled Manila uh, in the early part of 1898 mm -hmm. in August of that year they transferred the capital from Manila to Iloilo and the governor general of the colony uh, held office here for a time before the Spanish eventually surrendered to the Americans and this is the also the place where the American forces received the surrender of the Spanish right here on this pla plaza in this plaza wow yeah. and that train how old is it back in the 30s or 40s probably 30s during the time when um, the sugar industry was still um, in boom prominent and yeah that was being used to transport all the sugar cane from the far places of the plantation to bring it to the to the milling place. And Iloilo was the hub. Yeah. yeah. And there's the city hall building behind there. We're gonna try to get up there. Maybe a holiday. They may not. We may not be able to get up there today. Yeah, let's find out later. We'll find out. I found out here in the Philippines between 12 and 1. Many office buildings and businesses closed down. Even the businesses on the on the main market streets, they'll close down and lock it up. And um, they have customers waiting outside, and, and they'll wait all, all the whole hour until they reopen so they can get what they need. That won't happen in America. Everything's usually always open. They alternate employees. It looks like they're set up for a festival here. They got a little kid ride. Yeah. yeah. They got their little gambling tables like you've seen in Haro and Mandurio. Uh, they come in and they set up these makeshift uh, tents and, and little buildings. Looks like there's a merry-go-round on the other side of that one. All the way over is another merry-go-round for the children. This will continue up to January during the Binag Yang Festival. Okay. Haro is set up now uh, and they're going to be that way until uh, Jan uh, February the 2nd mm -hmm. when they have their a uh, barangay fe festival mm -hmm. there on February 2nd. So, um, okay, we're fixing to walk into the city hall, which is behind Libertad Park here. And I thought we'd walk by and let you see this old fire engine or this old uh, train. That's where they would throw their wood for their steam. Right. You drop so, the wood in here and close the doors on it. And you can see the holes in the background where the where it would heat up the water. I know there's a lot of train buffs out there that like to see some of this. Some of the locals call this the Iron Dinosaur. Iron Dinosaur. That's what some people call this. Well, that's the truth. It sure is. Libertad Park, downtown. It means the, the plaza for the for liberty. Yeah. And it's a Spanish name. And this train is used primarily for the transportation of sugar cane. Okay. From the plantations to the milling or to the sugar cane mill. Wow. Real piece of history here. Yes it is. <laughs> it's amazing iron work to go back that far. Good thing people didn't uh, break it down and so they just can't.